landscape is ever-changing and while I was in Hong Kong recently I caught up with the editor-in-chief of Billionaire magazine for an insight into this elite world. Just in case you're wondering if you've made it onto the rich list, check your mailbox. This is the magazine you want to be reading. Billionaire is a beautiful luxury magazine which is sent to 10,000 of the world's ultra high net worth individuals. And by ultra high net worth, we mean people with assets of 30 million and above. And its content is beautifully curated. The circulation of this exclusive publication is on the rise. Currently, we estimate there's around 2,300 billionaires in total, uh, predominantly in the US, uh, with a growing number in China. In China, we think that there's around 200. I have no doubt that that will continue to rise. I believe that the number of billionaires uh, over the next five or ten years is expected to grow at a, at a rough rate of four or five percent. In terms of where they'll be growing fastest, that's certainly in the emerging markets. So that's China, that's India, um, emerging Asia like the Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia, um, and certainly Latin America. Leading the surge of new wealth is China. Chinese consumers responsible for nearly a third of all luxury sales around the world. Wealthy Asia's appetite for luxury brands is insatiable. Especially here in Hong Kong where almost every street corner is a showcase of the world's finest. These stores, however, have experienced a dip in sales this year thanks to currency fluctuations. That hasn't stopped the spending though, savvy shoppers preferring to get more bang for their buck in Europe. It's actually 20% more expensive for them to buy a purse or a handbag in Chanel in Hong Kong as it is to buying that purse or handbag in the flagship Parisian store. And so as a result recently, a lot of the luxury stores have actually been normalising their prices to their Europe flagships, i.e. taking 20% off the price which has helped bring back a lot of shoppers from the European destinations too. Sales are crucial to luxury brands in Hong Kong, home to three of the top five most expensive retail streets in the world. Hong Kong is now the most expensive place to have a shop in Asia and the second most expensive in the world after New York. So as a result, these luxury shops have to do a lot of turnover in order to make up those rents and some are struggling. Living in Hong Kong is also pricey, especially if you want a room with a view. The views here at the top of Hong Kong's Victoria Peak are priceless. Well, almost priceless, that is. If you have a spare one billion Australian dollars to spend, you could snap yourself up a piece of exclusive real estate in the world's most expensive residential street. Peak Road stretches only about four kilometres, but with its lush tropical surrounds and escape from the hustle and bustle of Hong Kong City, it's an oasis for Asia's rich and famous. Earlier this year, number 75 sold for an incredible 5.1 billion Hong Kong dollars. That's equivalent to US 883.5 million, smashing all records to sit on top of real estate's most expensive list. You can almost be assured the new owners keep something special on their coffee table. Once you have a copy of Billionaire on your coffee table, anyone who comes over knows that you've made it. 